Here with UFC light heavyweight Anthony Smith, who takes on John Jones for the title at UFC 235 main event, March 2nd at T-Mobile Arena. And Anthony, you've been doing this for a long time. You have a lot of fights on your record. When you fight John Jones, is there a different feeling kind of going through you as, as during, throughout this process? Honestly, man, no. You know, I, I do the same thing every single camp. Uh, I strip the face and the name away, the accomplishments, the titles, the wins, all the stuff that he has doesn't matter because they weren't they weren't done against me and that and that's how I look at it we, we, we break it down and we look at the problems that he brings to the table and, and like I said we take the name and the face away from me and just run through that body when you look at the problems that he brings to the table is it different than anyone you fought before um physically no you know he's 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 obviously long you know he's he's got the longest reach in UFC history he's He's dynamic, you know, he's unpredictable. That's definitely something that, that I'm not necessarily that used to, you know, you never really know what John's gonna do, but as far as breaking it down, punches are punches, kicks are kicks. Uh, it's the way that people put it together and do it that's a little bit different. So everyone has a different mindset. Everyone fights a different way. The strategies are different, uh, but everybody has tendencies. And, and I think that's something that gets missed in this whole deal. Like John's human, he's, he's just a man. Mm -hmm. And he has flaws and he has holes. Uh, but he's coached well, and, and they've hidden them very well. Uh, he has tendencies that he can't change. That's just how it is, and, and as do I. So it really comes down to who's going to be able to expose those holes and tendencies first, and, and, and I do believe that's me. John has been pulled out of events before. Events have moved from Las Vegas to Los Angeles for John before. Is it impossible not to think to yourself, like, what kind of fight week surprise am I going to get with this guy? Does that cross your mind? You know, I try to keep it out. You know, I, I can't concern myself with what John can do. I can only control myself. So I, I just hope that he can keep it together and, and, and we don't get any hiccups because, because I'm putting a lot of hard work into this training camp. Everybody's sacrificing, my coaches, my family, Jim. I mean, everybody's sacrificing for, for this one goal. And, and I would hope that he'd be respectful enough to, to make sure that, that that's not for, not for nothing. You've come out and strongly said, you know, I don't care. I don't care about uh, the drug tests that he's had. I don't care about picograms in his system. But one thing that you mentioned in your statement that I wanted to clarify on is you, you said, I know exactly what I signed up for. What did you mean by that? I, I, I know what John brings to the table. I know that there's going to be controversy that comes along with that. There's going to be questions. There's, and I, and I, just, I, I know that people think I'm trying to sound like a tough guy. I genuinely don't care. Uh, I think that with it or without it, John Jones is one of the best specimens and, and, and best athletes and, and highest skilled fighters that the UFC's ever seen. I don't think that any of that stuff has anything to do with that. Um, and and that's, that's what I'm preparing for. I'm preparing for the greatest of all time. And I, I just don't care about all the outside stuff. I, I've been chasing this dream of, of being the UFC world champion since I was 17 years old that wasn't contingent on all the outside stuff. It wasn't, I, don't, I, I want to be the world champion as long as it's against a good guy or, or a guy that's nice or a guy that's clean all the time. I don't care. I'm here to be the world champion and he has the title. So whatever I have to do to get through that, whatever I have to endure, whatever he's doing, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I have one goal and that's what I'm chasing.